Tonight, from the wonderful world of Disney, The Ballad of Hector, The Stowaway Dog. Sir, the captain gave orders. Bridge is out of bounds for all passengers. Are you telling me I cannot be up here? Captain's order, sir. He can be up here and I cannot be up here? He's part of the crew. I should not have listened to this man in Dakar when he wants to ship my circus on this. Sub. Frankly, I thought we smelled pretty good. Up until then. Uh, it, it, does not, it does not tell me that the, this uh, scow passengers have treated worse than dogs. Uh. Ah, Hector, right on time. Ah, Hector, you hungry? Ching ching. Oh, yeah. Ching ching. Hi. Ching ching. Ching ching. Yeah. Very nice, Hector. Bagole. Don't bagole. 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 Don't bagole. 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 Wonderful, Hector. Right. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. Very, very fine, Hector. Cut out. Cow cow, cow cow, cow cow. Very good, Hector. Look at it. Ciao, look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Fine, Hector. Ching ching. Ching ching. Ching ching. This is a pretty smart dog. We better go eat, huh? Are you coming? Yeah. This is a pretty smart dog. started all this. Ah, oh, Hector, I see you found a friend. Now you see how the other half lives? Come on, <laughs> come on. I know how you feel, boy. It sort of affects me the same way. Let's go. It... No. But think 
what it would mean to be in Lisbon for the festival of St. Anthony with all those people and all that money to spend, huh? Herr Kapitän, is there no way of going faster? I'm not sure whether we can make it by Friday, but... Friday? That would be the earliest, Mr. Dancer. But Friday is too late. It will be all over. You were told in the car not to expect to be there until Saturday. I was told that... That's not me, there you go. How a poor little show it is not for big cities like Lisbon. My circus is for anywhere where people have money to buy tickets. It was not always like this. Once we had a Friedrich, the best trained dog in all the world. We played in Berlin, Paris, Rome. All the big cities. You know, Captain, once in the paper, they put up a picture. I drink to have free. Well, uh, but the circus is kind of a sad life for a dog, isn't it? End up all the time, no chance to romp and play? No, no. Herr Friedrich was a happy dog. This was his life. To do tricks, to hear the people shout and clap their hands. I don't know, though. I think Mr. Mantell has a point. With a circus dog, that's something else again. But an ordinary dog, he needs some place to romp. Like on a farm, aboard a ship, that doesn't seem the right place, you know. You mean Hector, sir? You brought it up. Yes, sir. Jesus, Jesus. animals. I've sailed under. They've always welcomed Hector aboard. Glad to have him. That's their privilege, Mr. Mantell, to run their ships as they see fit. Only this happens to be my ship, and I don't like having a dog aboard. And it's not just because I'm fond of cats. Yes, sir. I know, sir. And I'll see that he doesn't cause any trouble, sir. I'm not sure that's enough. Mantell, Yes, sir. You didn't say anything about having a dog with you when I signed you on. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to make other arrangements. <laughs> back to the kitchen. Who was your servant last year? I'm a passenger of this fish scow. I'm not supposed to work. Thank <laughs> you. 
fact that you can train dogs to do tricks doesn't mean they're smarter than cats. Hmm? Yes, sir. Emily here. Now, she knows how to get everything she wants without going through all of that foolishness. Yes, sir. In fact, if you hadn't trained that dog to do so many tricks, the men probably wouldn't waste so much time fussing over it. One thing, though. You think back. Has there ever been any single time when Hector's interfered with the work of the ship? You can ask any member of the crew and he'll tell you... You get out of here. I'll break your neck. Look what you've done. Look at this mess. What's got into you, Roberts? I was only gone for a minute, sir. Then when I come back, look at this. You were saying, Mr. Manto, ask any member of the crew. If you had to mess things up just once in your life, you should pick a fine time to do it. <laughs> That's enough, Mama. Don't fuss. Hector. Watch this, Mama. Hector. Will you dance for me, please? <laughs> <laughs> now, what do you say to this, Mama? Wonderful, wonderful. Now, Hector. Schön bitten. <laughs> German! Saluda! Spanish, he understands as good as English and German. Yeah! I'm Chinese. I heard the cook talk to him. Stick him up! Oh! <laughs> Maybe, perhaps, someday. He's a very smart dog. <laughs> huh? Um, even Herr Friedrich, when I was training him, he doesn't see me. He was so quick to understand. Maybe, maybe it was fate that we are on this ship. Maybe this is a turn in our fortune. Hugo, do not forget what you promised me. Never again. <laughs> I learned my list. If I cannot buy the dog, then... Besides, I don't think the captain wants him on the ship. But Mama, you heard him say so yourself at noon. Mantel, 
That does it. Well, there's something very funny about all this, sir. I, for one, failed to see the humor of it. something else again. But you stand up to a leper. You show him who's boss and you can do it. What is the matter? There's a leopard right behind you. Very funny. <laughs> Try pulling my other leg. Do we play cards or do we not?
sir. things you didn't do. But you'll forgive us, won't you? <laughs> Maybe even in time I I can work out something between him and the leopard. The only dog in the world that can tame a leopard. I don't know what it will take, but one thing I can tell you now. When we get to Lisbon, beautiful sight, and the thought of surely filled Hector with delight. Every friendly sea port was thrilling to explore, and Hector helped his master make friends on every shore. Come on in, boy. Almost ready to go. And from Hector's standpoint, there was something extra special about going ashore with Bill Mantell. For he and his master had a rather picturesque routine for meeting the most interesting people. 
They've been enjoying it, you might say, uh, since Hector was a pup. Ah, boy, let's go kill him. Oh, that Hector, he's one heck of a sea dog. Oh, that Hector, that salty sailor pup. Good day, Captain. I'll tell you one thing, I'll cut my own throat before I take another broker down circus aboard my ship. Yes, sir. Go on. Go on. Two. Well, my friend here. Show him your profile, Hector. <laughs> You may bash, senor. Enjoy Lisbon. Oh, we did a sail in a few hours, but we'll do our best. Thank you. Good luck. Next. We should be able to find some fun, right, Hector? E mal o sol se esconde nas colinas Se veste de luar e parece um aladar Enfeitado de casas pequeninas Right away. any makeup to anybody like this before usually won't even look at girls say would you mind if i got your picture together just so i could prove it to my friends all right pull it smile 
file. That's very nice. Say, would you like a copy of this when I get it back? I'd love it. Well, then, if you'll just give me your name and address. Mm -hmm. Manuela Diaz, Rua Tapia, 98. Oh. You did that on purpose. Oh, no, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I didn't even see you. We are not on your stinking ship anymore. <laughs> I thought I did it on purpose. I didn't know he was here. Hector. Hector. Funny, he was here a minute ago. Yeah. Hector. That was a close one, sir. Did you see what happened to him? I was watching the fight. Where are you, boy? Don't worry about it, sir. You know Hector, he'll go right back to this ship. No, he's never done that before. Hector. <laughs> Any trouble? Yes, I was I, here. I told you. <laughs> the doctor on the ship, Hugo. How did you get him? I bought him, of course. But the order he would sell? He needed the money to buy drinks. It was the captain's orders that dog cannot be on the ship. Even after the dog saved his life. What is it, Hugo? Something is not right. What is not right is to stand here and ask questions. We must put on a show today. The captain gave his first mate until the end of day. By then he must find Hector, for the ship must sail away. Hopefully his master shouted Hector's name. Hector! But the precious hours were fleeting, and his search was still in a nice costume too. <laughs> Did my dog come back here? Have you seen him? Is your 
Sinai. Put me back. I don't suppose they found out anything. No, sir. The more I think about it, the more convinced I am. It's it all a put-up job just to grab Hector for that lousy, stinking little circus. We've run out of time, Mantell. Can't stay here another minute. You'd better get aft. I hate to just go off and leave him, sir, not even know if he's all right. I've left word with the harbor master so that he can report it to the police. Check up on the circus and get in touch with us if he finds out anything. I know I signed the ship's article, sir, and... Well, perhaps you could say I have no right to ask this, but... I'd like to lay over, see if I can't find him. This puts me in a kind of awkward position, you realize that. I'm sort of indebted to Hector. But confound it all, I've got a ship to run. I can fly ahead, meet you at the next port. Mr. Mantell, either you'll sail when we sail, or you won't ever sail again. Yes, sir.
by now is a little weary of being chased by almost everybody he met. Victor! And he has no way of knowing that the harbor master and his assistants wanted to help him. Victor! Victor! They were merely trying to keep their promise to the captain and first mate of the SS Simaloa. got the stowaway. Nobody see him come aboard. This is the dog I've been telling you about. He belongs to some guy on the Simaloa. Where the did you go, huh? Bet you got your master half crazy wondering where you are. <laughs> Getting through these wireless dispatches. One here from the Hanley. Yes, sir. Tied up near us in Lisbon. Don't tell me you've forgotten that. No, sir. Says here they've got a stowaway aboard. A stowaway, sir. Stowaway dog. Got a collar around his neck. The name? Hector. Good old Hector. I'll be darned. It turns out they sailed about six hours after we did bound for Barcelona. Brief stop in Mallorca. Well, Hector probably thought he'd catch up with us. Wait a minute. With them behind us, bound for Mallorca. How'll we ever get together? That, Mr. Mantell, is a very good question. takes a joyride that leads him straight to trouble. What begins as a search for a stowaway sea dog gets Hector involved in a shady deal as a kind of canine counter spy. What do you think they're worth? Exactly the way they are. Hardly a shilling. We have to get them to the mainland. We have to get them recut before we dare show them to anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Life's too short. Of course, uh, Hector might get away with it. Well, how come that? Oh, it has something to do with this jewel robbery back in Mallorca. Apparently, they're on the trail of something. Adolf, we don't need the dog. We need is the collar. Hector is in for some real trouble, all right. And if any dog ever needed a best friend, Hector certainly does. You're still up in the air about the outcome of this mixed-up adventure. Just think where it must leave Hector in next week's conclusion to the ballad of Hector, the Stowaway Dog.
And now, from the wonderful world of Disney, the conclusion to The Ballad of Hector, The Stowaway Dog. can be the best of all for a sailor finds adventure in every port of call and many are the tall tales they tell about the sea but the tale of Hector will lag in history who is Hector? he's one heck of a sea dog who is Hector? the salty sailor pup Every friendly sea port was thrilling to explore And Hector helped his master make friends on every shore Who is Hector? He's one heck of a sea dog Who is Hector? The salty sailor pup But Hector's trouble started with Herr Danzer, the owner of a small circus traveling with the ship Danza was impressed with Hector when he saw him doing tricks, but that was only the beginning. When some of the circus animals got out of their cages, Hector soon proved his mastery of the situation. And here Danza was even more impressed. I don't know what it will take, but one thing I can tell you now. When we get to Lisbon, I got to have that talk. And so they dog-napped Hector, and Danzer told his wife, it was the dog's ambition to drive a circus life. But what Hector really wanted was to give them all the slip. Leave this place behind him and get back to his ship. The captain gave his first mate until the end of day. By then he must find Hector, for the ship must sail away. Hopefully his master shouted Hector's name. Hector! But the precious hours were fleeting, and his search was still in vain. Mantell and his captain had left word with the harbor master to be on the lookout for a forlorn and friendless Airedale named Hector. But of course, Hector had no way of knowing this. To him, these were merely three more men picking up the chase. So with his own ship nowhere in sight, he leaped aboard the SS Hanley. Here aboard the Hanley, Hector found a new friend, Max Reiner. But still, there are some things that an Airedale can't forget. Such things as faith, and loyalty, and never-ending devotion. And he wondered about his own ship, the SS Similoa, and about his master, first mate Bill Mantell. Morning, Chinese. Morning, Captain. Good morning, Captain. You're bright and chipper this morning. Yeah, just got word about Hector. Message from the Hanley. Uh-huh. Yeah, I have it all worked out with him. As soon as they get to Barcelona, they're going to air freight him to Port Side. By the time we get there, old Hector boy will be there waiting for me. By George, do you realize this is the first time she's joined me for breakfast since you brought that dog aboard? At least you don't miss Hector, do you, eh? <laughs> Meanwhile, 
On her way to Barcelona, the SS Hanley was nudging in for a brief stop at Spain's jewel-like island of Mallorca. Hey, Hector. That belongs to the captain. Up there. You're bringing me my paper, eh? <laughs> That's a good start. <laughs> Never seen so many police and customs been in my life. Wonder what's up? Well, here's the answer here, I guess. They've got the whole island sealed off. Some kind of jewel robbery. Remember, don't forget to turn the film. Oh, yeah, thanks. How come you want to start taking pictures all of a sudden? Well, I uh, watched this guy in Lisbon, and he seemed to be getting quite a kick out of it. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many gals want to have their picture taken with old Hector. Seems to have quite a way with him. And of course, if you happen to be right there, with a camera... Yeah. <laughs> hey, old boy. Want to go into town? Scrape off some of the barnacles? Yeah. A little bit of time. Hey, Duke. The one with the dog. Sure fits the description. Not here. Faster when he saw the ships and men. Perhaps he'd find his master and they'd be together again. He'd search Mallorca Harbor, he'd look from stem to stern. But Ryder wouldn't let him, as Hector soon would learn. Where do you think you're going, huh? Listen, I've gone way out of my way, you know, to make sure that you get home. But I think you could do a little bit for me. Yeah. Not try to squirm out of it. You got there, friend. A very nice dog. Thank you. Now, if you don't mind. You're Reiner, aren't you? Max Reiner? Yeah? Why? Shipped on a Holyoke a few years back. What do you want? An old friend of yours would like very much to see you. What old friend? You'll know him when you see him. Suppose I don't want to see him. I think that would be very wise of you, friend. <laughs> hey, no. Keep your eyes on the road.
had a hunch it might be you. Oh. It's good of you to come. I didn't have much choice. I assume he's housebreaking. Mm-hmm. And a lot smarter than these two put together. But they're very useful. favor that you can do me. Oh, no. You're not getting me mixed up in anything. I think he'll be interested. I haven't forgotten that last affair. Yes, that did turn out rather unfortunately, didn't it? I've been waiting for an opportunity to make it up to you. I just don't bother. And then when I heard that you were among the crew of the Handley, well, I thought here was my chance. Now listen, Benton, I'm not asking for anything. I've made my own mistakes. I served my time. Let's just leave it at that. And as far as I'm concerned, you can take your stinking little deal. What is that? What are you doing? The seven months work here. Seven months it took us to get them, and there was just one little thing that we didn't anticipate. Oh, that sounds familiar. It was just that the Countess returned to her villa one day early before anyone expected her. Including you. Another 24 hours before she reported it to the police and we would have had it safely to the mainland. What do you think they're worth? Exactly the way they are. Hardly a shilling. We have to get them to the mainland. We have to get them recut before we dare show them to anybody. And you figured to make me your pigeon. What would you say to 1,000 pounds, cash in advance? Jeopardize my parole for 1,000 pounds? You think a lot more of your money than you do of my neck. You want to drive us down the hill or we call a cab? Now, wait a minute. 1,500. <laughs> of course, we could walk if worse comes to worse. I have not quibble with you. Two thousand five hundred pounds. That's the very last possible shilling that I can offer you. Oh, it's times like this when I wish I hadn't promised my old mother I'd go straight. Uh, wouldn't work. Huh. Well, with my record, I wouldn't stand a chance. A lot more chance than any of us. They're really screening people who've been here several months. Yeah, a fella telling me this morning, planes held up two, three hours, time they go through everybody's stuff. Even stop in private yachts. Yeah, supposed to have stopped some poor guy on a surfboard. Made him get off while they give it the once over. Things are getting a little tight, with the police right on our heels. Well, it's not that I couldn't use the money, but. Life's too short. Uh, of course, uh, Hector might get away with it. Then it wouldn't be my responsibility. Look, we don't want the whole world in on this. I shall want to know a little bit more about this chap, Hector. Oh, well, uh, he's, uh, reliable, and, uh, hasn't got a record. And I can promise you one thing, he'll never talk. Well, that remains to be seen. Oh, no, I can guarantee that. But he never has. In fact, uh, he can't. I knew a guy once. Wordless. Will he? he? You say this chap Hector is on your ship with you and he has no record? None that I know of. Austin, men never question him. They just let him come and go as he pleases. Well, that's odd. Unless he has diplomatic immunity. This Hector... What's his name? Hector what? Uh, oh, let's get one thing straight first. Uh, I want no part of the deal. I don't want to touch those things. That's up to you. But 
does seem to me like you could slip me a few extra quid just for arranging the deal, you know. <laughs> All right, I might go another 500. Well, might go another 2,500, or it's no dice. Thousand, that's the limit. Well, you said yourself that they're hardly worth anything to you here, and I know what they're worth to you on the mainland. All right, I'll make it 1,500. Just for old time's sake. Hey, eh? Went hail. Now bring this chap Hector here so I can talk to him. That's the deal then. A total of 4,000 pounds cash in advance. That's the deal. Gentlemen. Me. Hector. Hey! Ain't that cute? The way he wants to shake hands? Reiner. I don't like people who play games with me. No, 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 no. Look, I've seen it a hundred times. <laughs> they search a whole ship and a crew, but they never even bother with a ship's mascot. He just trots on and off as happy as you please. Just what have you got on your mind? Well, I thought you could sew the diamonds in the collar. That's not a bad idea. Uh, uh, you can give me the money. I'll handle Hector's share. The rest of the deal is strictly between you and him. You and Adolf down at the wharf. Be sure he's on the ship before it leaves. Now you can both catch the night train to Barcelona and be waiting at the dockside to greet him when the ship arrives. Right, boss. Well, it wouldn't be better if they weren't waiting for me on the wharf? I mean, right under the nose of customs? Maybe Hector and I could meet him uptown someplace. Less likely to rouse suspicion. I like it better my way. Well, we're both loaded, aren't we, old boy? Nobody's going to bother about you. I just as soon not have to explain how I came into so much money. Is that right? Yeah. I seem to list a little bit to starboard. Don't you think I could stand another hundred pounds over here? I'll let you have a hundred pounds, old boy. But I'll rope around your neck if anything happens to our little shipment. Good luck. Listen, can't you turn that thing down or turn it off? Let's play poker. I can't even hear myself think. I'm sorry. It is just about the police. So they will find we have the stolen diamonds. They have the clue. Oh. Well, in that case, leave it on. Let's see what they have to say. It's not important. Tomorrow I read about it in the newspapers. Two cards. Oh, it's getting stuffy in here anyhow. I've, I think I'll go up and deck get a little breath of fresh air. <laughs> Stick my neck in. See how everything was with you. Oh, I can't complain. 
You mean there's nothing new or exciting? In the way of news, I mean. No, same old routine. Oh, except there came close to being a hole in the ceiling right about where you're standing. Oh? Yeah, the old man. Nearly went through the roof when he found out we're in for a custom search. A uh, custom search? Well, how come that? Oh, it had something to do with this jewel robbery back in Mallorca. Apparently they're on the trail of something. I think they've smuggled the diamonds off the island. What makes them think that? <laughs> they don't figure they're on our ship. <laughs> you should have heard the old man. Twenty-five years at sea and never before been accused of carrying contraband. <laughs> Well, there must be a reason why they suspect our ship. I suppose so. They didn't tip off too much. No. Well, uh, if you hear anything more exciting, let me know, huh? Looking for you. You took this dog ashore, back in Mallorca. Uh, yes, sir. I... Well, I've just been looking at his collar here. I don't see any license tag. Anybody question it? No, sir. Well, I was just hoping we wouldn't get fouled up in red tape over something like that. Oh, no. <laughs> Got to get him on a plane for Port Side. Don't we, fella? Yes, sir. <laughs> Is that Hector? Gotta get you on a plane for Port Side. Hector knew his collar felt a little tight, but he didn't know why Reiner watched him day and night. Sorry, senor. We must ask you a few questions. Police are wise to something. Maybe we shouldn't be here. Welcome to Barcelona, Hector. That's not very polite, old fella. He just wants to get out and stretch his legs. This will not take too long. I'm sorry, senor. We will have to ask you to step over here for a few moments. We better go. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's all right. You can bring him in, too. You did leave the ship in Mallorca. Oh, I already 
already told you. I uh, went to a cafe, I had a drink, and then I went back to the ship. It took you approximately four hours. Oh, so I'm a slow drinker. As you think, Mr. Reiner, with your record, you try to cooperate. I am, but you keep on fooling me. When did you sign on about the Hanley? Uh, 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 December last year. How did you keep in touch? Oh, I just, what do you mean keep in touch? Oh, come now, you couldn't have had all this time out wait till last December? I don't even know what you're talking about. You are never smart enough to quit, are you? You always have to come back. Try just one more job, No, eh? look, I'm telling you, I uh, quit years ago. <laughs> I promised my old mother I'd never get mixed up with that kind of thing again. <laughs> I'm sorry, senor. Here, boy. Come back here. I will get him. No, that's all right. Let him go. He won't run off. We're cleared. Everybody else is going ashore right now. Well, I guess I'm free to go. I'll take the jacket, senor. Let's open a few seams. Take out the bedding. Still got his collar on. Maybe they didn't find nothing. Could be a trap. Maybe they just want to see who tries to grab him. Yeah. You go out there toward him, and I'll watch. Why don't you go out there and I'll watch? <laughs> Here, Hector. Nice doggy. Come on. Nice, doggy. No, senor. Is that your dog? Mine? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I was just walking along the wharf. Whoever owns him, I wish they would tie him up. He might get hurt around here. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I know Mon is becoming less valuable every day, senor. But I did not realize it would have been used for shoulder padding. Oh, now you know the whole story of my life. Unlucky at love, but lucky at cards. I won it. Then why do you hide it like this? Well, I didn't want one of my shipmates to borrow it some night while I was asleep. Those diamonds are somewhere, senor. Right now, I think you know where. But before we are finished, we will know too. We'll find them just as surely as we found the money you were paid to smuggle them ashore. <laughs> Good. Now, Mr. Reiner. You are on parole, is that right? 
Yes, sir. But that's no reason to think that I... And you will prefer to explain about the money to the officer of your parole. No! Now, wait a minute. We had waited, senor. And from you, we got nothing that makes sense. I swear to you. On my honor. I never even touched the stuff. <sighs> Take him down, lock him up. Make out the papers. No, hold on. What if I tell you everything I know? Will you let me off? As much as you can. We can promise nothing, senor. Oh, at least can you keep my name out of the papers? Or spell it wrong or something? See, my poor old mother. Well, we'll do what we can. Now, where are the diamonds? Do you have them? Well, I know who does. Who? Hector. Hector. Who's Hector? Oh, he was here just a minute ago, scratching on the window. You don't mean... Not the dog. Well, they're sewed into his collar. A ver. Jefatura de policía, pronto. Well, you've got to believe me. I had nothing to do with it. Sí, 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 sí. Noticias muy importantes. I just happen to be on the same ship. That's all. Pronto, pronto. No pierdan tiempo. Enseguida, enseguida.
A minute. Adolf, we don't need the dog. All we need is the collar. Shoot him. Now's your chance. Shoot him. Look at him. I can't shoot him. He's a dog. Poor little guy. I never shot a dog. Never in my whole life. Well, what about the men you shot? That's different. Adolf. From here, you can hit him real easy. Now, I told you, shoot him. I can't. Not to a dog. And look at him. He ain't even armed. Chicken livid imbecile. <laughs> Dois homens tirando sobre um perro. Em La Plaza de Toros. De que color? Marrone Arendel. Donde? Plaza de Toros Monumental. Sim, sí, senhor. Inspector, o perro que se suspeita ser esto está na Plaza de Toros Monumental. Parece ser que eles estão disparando ali. Comunique-se com todos os coches de patrulha. Bem. I think we found the dog if somebody doesn't shoot him before we get there. Shoot him? But who? Oh, no. You gotta let me go with you. It's my fault. He'll come to me if I call him. Please. Let's go. Atención coches patrulla. Atención coches patrulla. Atención todos los coches patrulla. Diríjanse urgentemente a la Plaza de Toros Monumental. like shooting ducks in a rain barrel. Why did you do that for? That's my gun. Ain't nobody gonna shoot a dog with my gun. You stupid ape. All right. We can still get him.
Get the collar. He likes me. Nice, Boogie. I'm your friend, remember? And we don't want nothing but just your collar. Really? Wait a minute. I know how to take care of him. of seeing that he's returned to his master safely. Now, Sergeant. So long, Hector. Thanks, Inspector. I sure appreciate you keeping my name out of all this. Out of respect for your old mother, I do it. Plus the fact, senor, that nobody even asked about you. I've got some news for you, Mantel. It's about your dog. Hector, what about him? I'm afraid he won't be waiting for you when we get to Port Side. Nothing's happened to him. Apparently, there's been quite a bit happened to him. Got mixed up with some jewel thieves in Mallorca. Jewel thieves? Oh, it's all right. Turns out he was working on the side of the law. Helped the police catch them in Barcelona. Had his picture spread all over the front page of this morning's paper. Really? Oh, wait a minute. Why can't they still send him to Port Said? Why, he's a celebrity now, not just an ordinary dog. That's bound to change a lot of things. People are so silly, aren't they, Emily? All the fuss they make over dogs. <laughs> Got it. Mm -hmm. Where is Hector now? Oh, they wanted to take him on a special tour, so I told them to go ahead. I felt sure you wouldn't mind. What? Why didn't you ask me? Better see what that's all. Hooray for Hector! Hooray for Hector! The song 
Black Hole Boy. You didn't ask me where they planned to take him on tour, hmm? 